What's up, YouTube? And I'm doing my first impression of Karate Minoru or Kohi, uh, Karate Kohinata Minoru or Karate Minoru Kohinata Karate Shokoshi Kohinata Minoru, whatever, which whichever one is the actual, whichever one's the title or whichever one y'all know is the title. So I'm eating watermelon while doing this. These are some cold watermelons. Have you ever like bit into something cold and then your teeth kind of like are in shock because they're not cold? But all right, let's get this started. So, um, it follows this main group of people. But the main person obviously is Kohinata, and he's this gymnast who was bullied in the gymnastics club and then kicked off but while he's getting bullied someone comes and helps him and makes him join the karate club now there are many people in the karate club and they all have weird past like they have something weird going on with them like either they have bad relationship with family someone's died no one's really been bullied like Kohinata Except maybe one, I'm not even 100% sure, because we don't even know his full story yet. But this, is, the reason this is interesting is because the way they fight, it's basically kind of like Kuroko no Basket, except I have yet to see any real powers. But I don't even know if in real life the USC breaks this many bones as people do in this show, because... I'll, I'll, this is a spoiler, so if you don't want any spoilers whatsoever, this happened in the first chapter. So, if if that's fine with you, you can listen to this. If not, just leave, but someone's rib, like, break. You see the ribs breaking, and it's not even, like, a crack. Like, you see them snapping, and it's, like, four of them or something like that. Like, in the beginning, he's, he challenged the, the national like champion in judo in that uh in the school because the school is known for more of its sports than its education and when i saw this i was like oh damn like because the dude just got punched in his in his rib cage just easily because because the judo dude tried to throw him down and he said oh you're, you're wide open and he and he just punched him and you just see like three four rib cra cages break no problem And that's disgusting. So, if you like fighting, and if you like sports, this is very similar, except it's like a seinen version of Hajime no Ippo. Because it's not like so dark as you would think, because it's a seinen. There are like a little bit of dark aspects, like someone's backstory and some stuff. Cause some people are kind of crazy, but that happened in Shonen also. But it's not too crazy. It's like a little bit up the version of Hajime no Ippo. Now, I don't mean like the epicness of fights, cause Hajime no Ippo has one of the epic fights I've ever seen, and we've seen it animated, so it's different. But it's probably gonna be on a different level. Or karate, uh, Kohinata Minoru will probably be on on the same level depending on how it's animated. Cause cause their rounds are only three minutes. They only have one round three minutes until they enter pros, and they still do some crazy stuff. That that's what like got me into it. not 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 the three rounds, but like the first fight when you see them ribs break. Ah, like, I felt that joy. You know you know how when people talk about, uh, for dudes at least, I don't, girls probably won't feel this, but if, if someone tells you about, like, someone getting hit in the nuts, or if you watch someone get hit in the nuts, you, like, cringe a little bit, because you, you understand. And I've never had my ribs broken, but I have, like, not sprained, but, like, rolled my ankle. And that hurts a little bit. 
Now imagine if you just broke three or four ribs like instantly. The, uh, but I I think when I was reading it, it kind of is like Hajime no Ippo because that that's just how it is. It, there's this uh, one dude. They're following a group of people. There's a super strong person. Um, this kid's only been uh doing karate I think they've had a couple time skips so or one time skip so it's been like he's been doing for like almost two years now and he's actually doing pretty good but it's basically like Ipo Ipo's only been boxing for I don't even know how long a couple a couple couple years now because uh boxing actually takes a, a lot of time you know to train and everything they don't just fight back to back but it's easier to know what he's doing because he's doing it through college and he's uh, second year. So that means he's only been doing it two years and not even the full length of two semesters because he was still with the gymnastics club for a little bit. And then we have the girls that like him. But, you know, one, uh, I, I won't say anything about the girls because it seems like they'll develop relationships because it seems like that's what they're trying to do. The relationships aren't really that important. Like you don't, you just see him kind of switching off. The only one that hasn't like flourished yet is anything for Minoru, because you you know how the main character has to be, you know, oblivious and shit. But yeah, so if you like fighting, if you like Hajime no Ippo, you'll like this a lot. Now, the one thing I'll say, there's not really like a main goal for. Minoru like he's just doing this to do it and because he likes it it's basically like what Ippo is doing and what once he is asked to go into the pro ring you, you know how that that will eventually happen he's gonna he is like Ippo saying I never even thought about this like am I really ready for something like the pro ring am I really good enough to step inside the same ring as this person but tell me what you think in the comments below if you've read this or not. Check it out if you haven't. If you enjoy, you know, sports, fighting, you no know, breaking of bones, saying, okay, okay, okay. Now I'll give you a disclaimer about before checking it out. Now if if you hate like gay people, if you're like a homophobe, you shouldn't read this because there is like this one part this is a spoiler i don't know if you care if you will care about knowing this or not there's uh, one dude he's a brazilian jiu jitsu person and he puts on a mask goes running around and raping dudes now i thought i was like okay whatever but they actually showed it like he pulled his pants down it was all pixelized i was like what the fuck but it doesn't matter i mean i'm not attracted to it so i didn't really care it was just kind of a little nasty that it would, it would be shown, but whatever. It, it doesn't bother me all too much. But if you don't like that sort of stuff, I mean, you, you shouldn't read it at all. So tell me in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Add me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Divine Art and Hummingbird. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down and critique me so I can improve myself. Um, if you leave a thumbs up, same thing, leave a comment, uh, anime and manga discussion questions, leave them down below. I know this is a recommendation video and first impression, but you can leave me a recommendation as well. And yeah, if, if, uh, you read this, I'll start my reviewing of this next chapter and peace out. Yeah.